we can start the game. Let's finish Gormand, then we do Spearmaster, and then I do the Saint. Oh, uh, yeah, for the Saint you need to do both Rivulet and Spearmaster, that's, that's interesting. Now, on this save file, I did not yet complete uh, Hunter, but just like FYI, I did finish Hunter before, I just don't have the save file anymore, because I, I erased it, because I was doing some stuff with mods. Way before the DLC, doesn't even matter. <coughs> anyway, uh, let's go in with Gourmand. Also, sorry I wasn't able to use my microphone for the past few streams, really. It's just, I live in an area that's pretty noisy, and I have family members that are pretty noisy, and... Yeah, there's a lot of noise, and I don't think you guys would be very interested in hearing that. So, uh, now, where did we leave off? I think we met Moon. We did meet Moon. Alright, let's go to Five Pebbles, then. After five pebbles, we go back to Moon, give her a Neuron, because I don't think she has an extra Neuron. Uh, let's see, I do need a bit more food, so I'm just gonna, just gonna chuck these things down real quick. I'm gonna drop down with them. Up the spear real quick. Actually, I could just eat the jellyfish with one of these. Let me eat this, save the other one for the jellyfish, get in here, eat both at once. And I got a bit of food spare for next cycle. Right, let's go. Uh, so my plan is the general plan when I play Rain World, which is to say, go to what's it called? Uh, what should I call it? The industrial complex, and then from industrial complex onto chimney canopy, from there to the wall, and from the wall to five pebbles, then go back down the wall, and to moon, and from there I ascend. That's, that's the general outline. I don't like to go through the citadel, which I know that through the citadel and then to the exterior would probably be a faster way to pebbles but my play style the way I play the game just doesn't sit right with that uh, so yeah I much prefer going up the wall and then down the wall since I'm very experienced with the wall, with the garbage wastes, industrial complex, somewhat good with chimney canopy. Though I don't think you can really master chimney canopy, that area is a mess. But yeah, I'm relatively experienced, so I think I'm gonna try and follow that route. I'm also just gonna hope and pray that there is no Leviathan on this side of the play area otherwise I think I'm dead man adjusting to a slower slugcat like Gourmand after playing Revulet is it's kinda weird honestly I think Revulet is really slippery the controls of a rivulet are pretty slippery, which is to say you kind of tend to overshoot things by like a tile, just generally. Maybe that's just me though. 
Right, I have a good amount of time left, so let's just go over here. Hope these guys don't knock me around too much. I should be able to get past the monster kelp pretty easily. I have a spear, just in case. Oh yeah, I think the monster kelp is distracted. Should be good for me. Indeed it is. Sadly, there was a leech right there. Thankfully, I did manage to avoid it. Hopefully, I can avoid this next batch of leeches because this area really has like a lot of them circling around. And I came in at just the wrong time. Oh, thankfully. Thankfully, I did avoid them. Yeah, those leeches make like a generally circular path. Oh my god, S so many leeches. Yeah, uh, those leeches make a generally circular path, and they don't often uh, fill that circle, so to say. They tend to clump up together and then leave a good amount of time where there are absolutely no leeches there to annoy you. How much time do I have? I do have a good amount of time, so I don't... Should I save in the shelter? Is there a closer shelter? I got some time to spare. So go up, then left. Ooh, I think that means that there's a karma flower there. Now, why is my map this empty? It, it really shouldn't be that empty, but nope. God damn it. This snail is... These snails are just really annoying. Please, let me out. Let me out of here. Please don't stun lock me. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Snails. Let me out. I'm gonna jump on him. No, how do I do the ground pound? How do I do the ground pound with this guy? Go through. Go through. I don't care. Just go through. Motherfucker. Go through. Why won't you go through the pipe? Hello. Would you... Yes. There we go. Those snails are real assholes. Damn. So, yeah. Um, as I was saying, my plan is to leave the shoreline by going to the garbage wastes and then from the garbage wastes to industrial complex and from industrial complex we just go up until we get to five pebbles now i do wonder if the developers put some of these new creatures on the wall in the gourmand campaign hopefully there's not too much oh my god why why do you have to be there that that centipede that you see there in the water that's possibly the worst thing that could be there right now genuinely possibly the absolute worst thing that could have been right there and I can't see that far on the map I'm just gonna jump and I'm just gonna hope it's not there it's there go up no don't you dare Yep. Yeah, that centipede is absolute hell. I hate it. I genuinely despise that centipede. It sucks so much. Alright. I guess I'm gonna have to go save in that shelter then. Just so that I don't have to go through all of this every single time.
Alright, I only need two of those guys. Are the scavengers antagonistic towards me? I don't think they are. They shouldn't be. Yeah, no, I think we're neutral, because that guy didn't just go in to kill me instantly. The scavengers did have some lights, though, which could be good to get. Oh, I got zapped. Let's uh, let's go get that shelter. Hopefully the snails have not spawned. Or at least they spawned in some other place. Because I really would not like to get stunlocked by snails again. There we go. Alright, uh, the jellyfish sometimes uh, get you with their tentacles, as you saw right there. The jellyfish caught me and I just could not swim left even though it didn't zap me. Alright, here we go, like this. And then just climb through here and we're out. Now, I know I can just go under the water there. But I generally do not like to go underwater uh, near the entrance to Looks to the Moon for one specific reason, and that is that there is a pole inside the underwater tunnel. And that uh, generally means you sometimes just drop dead because, well, the slug cat grabs the pole, and because it's underwater and you can't see very well, then you're trying to get yourself out of the water and slug cat is still just there holding the pipe so yeah generally i try to avoid underwater areas especially tunnels because your maneuverability in them drops way way down let's take this thing and off we go Now you are much faster when you go underwater, so it could be kind of, kind of good to just dip underwater for a second there, and come back up. Right, and away we go. I wonder, do I have to stand still for the gourmand too? No, I don't. Alright, that's good. Now, do jellyfish restrict the movement of the leeches? I don't think they do. I've never seen them do it. They might... It might happen, but pretty rarely, probably. Maybe... I don't think leeches even have, like, a hurt box. I don't think you can really attack them. Again, I've never tried, but I genu I don't think you can spear a leech. Right. Uh, I am gonna say right here, there's only half a day left, and also that Weird centipede's gonna probably be near the exit again to taunt me. So let's just save right here. So I don't have to go through all of that every single time. Oh, cutscene. Gorman just wrestling a lizard.
Alright, uh, it seems Lorewise Gourmand is a sumo wrestler. I believe. Now, I hope a few of those blue rocks have respawned. I would like to get some food. One has. Thankfully, that is enough for Gourmand to make a meal out of. Just pop it. Pick it up. You have two different foods and you hold pick up and the up arrow at the same time. You just, I guess, hold up on a controller if you use that instead of a keyboard. And when you eat the food, you gain one extra pip. But they do have to be different foods, though. You can't, you can't make a meal out of two of the same food. And also, I believe if you use the uh, the mushrooms that make you hallucinate, um, you can make a meal out of those as well, which is pretty useful. That is like two extra pips than you would get normally. Sadly, I don't think it gives you the slowdown effect. Right, I'm just going to grab this thing and... Move on. I gotta gotta be a bit further forward. Like this. There we go. Now I don't think the Karma Flower even spawned. Let's just hope the weird centipede is not here. No threat music means it's good. And it's good. It's officially good. I got max food, so don't have to worry about that. I guess just make it to the next shelter then. That centipede really, really sucks, though. On Rivulet, it wasn't all that bad because, well, Rivulet is just really fast and uh, has a really big lung capacity. Like, I know the game says Rivulet can breathe underwater. That's not true. That's just lying to you straight up. Rivulet just has a really, really long... Uh, Rivulet just has a lot of air in its lungs. As you've... As you might have seen from my first Rivulet stream, uh, if Rivulet really could breathe underwater, it would basically mean that in areas where the rain floods the room instead of, you know, just being an instant kill if you are not under an object... It would basically mean that Rivulet could survive past the rain timer pretty easily if you just knew what rooms to go into and what rooms to avoid. So especially since a few, uh, especially since a few rooms, which sorry, I'm focusing on not dying to the lizard. Uh, especially since a few rooms that flood during rain do have shelters in shelters in them. Alright, let's go this way. Gonna grab this thing. Have food for tomorrow. Now, Gourmand does need a lot of food to keep to keep him full, to keep him topped up. Thankfully the food is really easy to get in this game. There's, there really is a lot of food just lying around. Alright, let's save right here. Uh, once I'm back, oh man, I'm gonna need a pearl.
I'm gonna need a pearl or I'm gonna need to return to my artificer days and just murder an entire scavenger doll, which won't be fun. Murdering scavengers is surprisingly hard. Let's combine these two. There we go. And I got a pretty short cycle, all things considered. Hopefully I can make something with that. Now, let's get through this gate. Should have probably saved on the other side, but I don't think I'm gonna die all of that much in the garbage wastes. Cut to 20 minutes in the future and I'm still in garbage wastes. There should be a pearl up here, I believe. Can, can you move out of the way? I would like to climb up and over. Uh, yeah, I believe there should be a pearl on one of the platforms around here. Yes, yes, there is. Now, I just need to get in position. Move out of the way, please. Thank you. Grab the pearl. And now just move on. Pop this bit. I don't know if I'm gonna get the full food meter this cycle. I might find enough food, I might not. But it really doesn't matter. There are quite a few popcorn plants around this general area. And those give you infinite food for one cycle. Yeah, uh, scavengers, I would like to just walk right past you. I don't think that's a big problem. Get right up to the toll. Uh, the problem is, I don't know how close you have to be to this toll. Oh, sorry. Here's a pearl. Don't kill me. I accidentally stomped one of you. Uh, well... I think the biggest problem will be me accidentally stomping scavengers. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. <laughs> but I think it will genuinely become a problem. <laughs> Hopefully not. Though my karma flower is now on the scavenger toll, so they've probably taken taking the flower instantly. Kinda sucks, but whatever, I can karma cash. Karma isn't that much of a problem. By the way, if you don't know what kar karma caching is, it's been patched out recently. Well, not recently, with the release of Downpour, it's been patched out. But you can still enable it with the vanilla exploits. It basically allows you to well, get free karma in exchange for, like, half a minute of doing literally nothing. So, you may think it's a bit overpowered, but I point you towards... No, it's not overpowered, because it makes you sit through literally nothing. No, go away. I don't, I don't want to grab you. I want, I want my bubble, bubble fruit, whatever it is. <clears throat> uh, yeah, karma caching, I wouldn't say it's overpowered because number one, it's kind of intuitive and number two, uh, you need to sit through 30 seconds of literally nothing, which depending on how much karma you need is basically nothing, or it can be literally like two entire minutes just sitting around doing nothing except for karma caching 
so yeah, I think I think karma caching is fine. You get two minutes in gay baby jail. Would you please stop taking my spears? Anyway, let's get the pearl out. Let's not stomp a scavenger this time. No, move away. Guys. Guys, move away, please. I don't want to kill you. Go away. Hello. Who here is responsible for the toll? Scavengers. Is it blue guy over there? Who is responsible for taking my payment? Would anybody... <laughs> Scavengers, please. Oh my god. Here you go. Can I go through now? I gave you a pearl, come on. No, apparently I didn't pay the toll. Apparently. That pearl I gave them. That was not a pearl. I swear, scavengers sometimes just don't function. Whatever. Let's go... Try again. I really hate when that happens. Scavengers can be really annoying. I guess that Artificer playthrough was pretty cathartic. Go watch the Artificer playthrough if you... Or just, better yet, play the game yourself. Uh, but yeah, uh, Artificer does a lot of killing scavengers. For their evil deeds. Now, I wonder, I wonder how I get past that scavenger toll. And that thing is gonna pop, and I am gonna go get this pearl real quick. Yeah, I have a rock. So I'm just gonna, there we go. Grab this thing, combine these two. Oh! Okay. I thought I was gonna eat them. Can I craft these two? I got a jellyfish. You can craft a jellyfish? You can fucking craft jellyfish? What? Hello? I just wanted to eat these, but... Alright, apparently... Apparently, I just crafted a jellyfish. Apparently, you can do that now. I don't know why you can do it, but you can do it. So. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get the pearl out. Let's hope the scavengers don't get trampled and that this time they actually register me trying to get through the toll yes hello yes please anyone here like show me that you want this pearl Come on. I'm waiting for them to do the hand sign. Where they, like, wave their hand for me to give them the pearl. Come on. Come on, guys. I would like to... I would like to go through. <laughs> guys, please. Is 
Scavenger AI, please work with me. Here you go. All right, thank you. Can go through now. Apparently, I just picked up all of them. Whatever. Oh my god. I need to save the game soon. How much time do I have? I have around half a cycle left. Half a fucking cycle was spent trying to get those scavengers to accept my payment. Let's go get another pearl just in case. Can I craft pearls? Can I craft something with pearls? Can I combine these? No. No, I can just eat a pearl. It would be nice if I could craft pearls into something. Or not. Maybe I can make stuff into pearls. Maybe I can be a literal money printer. Whatever, it really doesn't matter. I just I just need to get to industrial complex and then we'll be good. Now those rooms I don't know man. I don't feel like doing drugs right now. Like there's no other food for me to get. To combine with the shroom. So I'm just gonna go to shelter right here. I'm gonna pop a popcorn plant. Uh, I do have a spear, so yeah. Get the food from the popcorn plant. Just keep going left until I can get to the industrial complex. Hopefully, I don't see too many of those big white orange lizards. I don't know what they're called. The community does not have a consensus on them yet. As far as I know, at least. Okay, let's go. Oh man, all those are used up. I didn't even notice. I did not even notice. Getting food today is gonna be a challenge. Let me just... There we go. Nope. Like that. I am gonna go grab a shroom. Craft some food. Can I eat that? I can craft them again. Alright, I can apparently just craft beings into existence. Can I craft these two? No. No, I cannot. Also, as far as I'm aware, this thing is pretty valuable as a weapon. I think this summons, like, the noodle fly, like, the big noodle fly to attack whatever you hit with this, I believe. I don't know, I've never found a use for it, but for some reason, I think I remember these things being used for, or not for, being used in some way to get noodle flies towards you drop this thing real quick. I need to get more food. Exactly. Two more pips. That's good. Alright. I have enough. Now, I should, I really should try to find a place where there's a popcorn plant so that next cycle I can you know, survive without starving. Because starving in this game really sucks. Unless you're doing karma caching, starving is just devastating. Completely fucks you over stamina-wise. 
Man, I'm just not good at this jump, huh? Let me jump, let me jump, let me jump. Let me go. Thank you. Alright, I'm out of there. Come on, get your breath back. There we go. Off we go. The leeches should be that big of a problem? Yeah, it's only one right now. I can just walk it off. Generally, leeches don't really hurt you all that much unless you're underwater. Once you go underwater, then leeches become like an actual threat. But before that, they're mostly chill. They don't really do much of anything. Let me go through here. Climb this, go over here, and the exit should be nearby. My god, am I glad this is an artificer. Because an artificer, if you didn't watch, the garbage waste water is literally just death. It's death. It's so much death. Garbage wastes, I think, is like one of the deadliest regions in the game. Probably. This should be the exit out of the garbage wastes. Alright, let's wait for the guy to get his stamina back, and off we go. Garmon really is just silly. Just a little goofy air guy. Now, there should be shelter right on the other side of this thing so i'm not gonna save right here i'm gonna save a bit later and then i'm gonna see if i can get through the entirety of industrial complex without another shelter now now that i think of it the chimney canopy might be might be kind of tough because there are a lot of falling hazards. I mean, not there might be. There are a lot of falling hazards. And I think Gormond falls slightly faster than the other slunk hats. I believe. I got enough food. That's good. Go up. There we go. Spearmaster is gonna be. It's. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of banging my head against the wall, but it's gonna be fun. Anyways, shelter, sweet shelter. I think the chieftain went down. I don't know why. Do you need to like constantly give? Oh, you yeah, know you. I'm just gonna eat you. This is probably a bad idea. That was probably a really bad idea. Cause it did do. T it did do to the good. Here you go. Have yourself a merry little. Merry little pearl. I don't really need it. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go... Up here. Then around. Don't kill me. Kill that thing, not me. I'm not... I'm not the big scary lizard on the big... Huggable slug cat. Come on. And away we go. Now I hope they don't catch up to me. 
They did. That's why I grabbed a spear. Get your breath back. Go get the spear back, because I'm gonna need it to get through there. <laughs> did that lizard just make the other one bounce? Come on. Come, come on. Nope. Damn. I'm just gonna eat you. I don't think the Newt mom is here. If she is, I'm just gonna die and that's like, whatever. If she isn't in the region though, I should be fine. I think that was a vulture. I think I saw a vulture shadow around here. Meaning that the tunnels are gonna be lizard infested and the surface is gonna be vulture infested. Indeed I did see a king vulture in fact. You know those guys really don't care for king vultures. Yeah, you go that way. Yeah, that's good. Alright, he remembers that I am food. I did get away though. Oh my god, that was close. That was way too close. I do not want to get that close to you again. Alright, now we go left. Is a green lizard gonna come through here? It's not. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It did. It did go through there. Thankfully, I was out of the way. Alright, now it should be kind of smooth sailing. Hopefully. Because I do know this area pretty well. Not to brag, but I do know this area quite well. The only problem is... If I see some really mobile lizards, because those are not going to be easy to take care of. Unless I ground slam, but there's not that much ground I can, gra I can uh, like, fucking wrestle. What, what's that move? I think it's in wrestling. Are you just going to jump on top of your opponent? Whatever, I don't know. I don't watch wrestling. Oh. It's the Pebbles Overseer. Oh my god, why? Why is there a red lizard? No. No, 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 no. no. You have to be. You have to exist right here. Do you have to exist? Is it absolutely necessary? Right, there we go. Come on, get your breath. Because that red lizard is going to be coming after me, that's for sure. Thankfully it was down at the time, because otherwise I'd, been, I'd have been dead. This white lizard also got lucky with him. I'm not going to be lucky with him anymore, though, because he's faster than me. Yeah. Yeah, they can... You can newt as much as you want to. The the big newt... The, the big noodle fly isn't here right now, so... It's all in vain. It's all useless. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to slam this guy. Come on. He slowed me down. This bitch actually slowed me down. Did I kill him? I don't think I killed him. But it would be pretty funny. I think I killed him. <laughs> Did I actually kill him with that slow drop? No, go away. 
I did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro, G Gormand can... He, he, he can do a lot. He can do a lot with a little... Spear. Could I? Could I just jump on a King Vulture? And just kill it like that? That would be a pretty funny way to kill a King Vulture. I'm gonna be honest. It shot its tusks, so it should be fine for a few seconds. Are you tired? You aren't tired. Good. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Come on, get your breath. Got your breath. And now it's time to leave. We leave now. Should have just put it there from the start. Take this. Of course. Of course it snipes me. Of course it snipes me out of everyone. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, no, hunter spawns really are gonna just suck. I'm guessing this guy's there. Yep. Let's just jump on him. Stab him. Nope. Stab him again. Grab this. Nope. Stab him again. Nope. Well, I guess he's out of here. Come on. Go. Go up. Go up. Gourmand, please. Yeah, the king vultures here. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? At least it, that means the lizards are probably not gonna be here for a little while. Yeah, no, the screen's clear, clear lizards, which is both good and bad. It's good because it's bad now. It's just bad. <laughs> Time to leave. I saw that King Vulture snipe me. Just gonna... Just gonna go... Look around here and hope that... That Vulture loses interest by the time I emerge. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. How much food do I have? I do need some food. Do you get scared by these? You don't get scared by those. At least I don't think you do. Oh, fuck you. Well, I'm just gonna go right here. Don't follow me. Yeah, there you go. That's gonna go back out. Yep. I love Gorman just standing there, T-posing. Look at this little guy. Look at him T-pose. That's funny. He's a funny little fella. Come on, move out of the way, please. Would you, would you please get out of my way? You are being very annoying right now, Pink Lizard. I'm just gonna... Right, there we go. I don't know if that killed it. Probably did. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, 
Honestly, none of the new slug cats have been as hard as the hunter. And I think that's just because hunter has limited cycles. That limited cycle thing that hunter has really is... The biggest problem I have with Hunter. It's just a time limit. I can bash my head into a wall all day, but as soon as you give me... I can bash my head into a wall to break, th to try and break through all day. But as soon as you give me a timer to try and beat... I'm just not good at it anymore. No, no. Let go of me. Thank you. Thank you, kind white lizard. No. You wanna fight? You wanna f fucking fight? No. N let fucking go of me. Come on, green lizard. Are you that useless? Alright, I'm gonna try one more time because I'm kinda getting tired of Gourmand's total lack of mobility. Hello. Have. Thank you. I killed it. I didn't kill it. Turns out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat this thing. It ran away. That's fine. I didn't want to eat it. Totally didn't. Okay. Hello, King Vulture. Must you reside there? I'm just gonna wait here for, like, a few seconds. Just hope it goes away. Once you know it, sometimes you can just not look somewhere and the problem just goes away. Sometimes it just it just does like that. Well, no, motherfucker, King Vulture is back! Yay! Don't oh, give me that. Come on. Alright, I'm I'm just gonna stop here because I really don't like the Gourmand's lack of mobility. I know I complained about the um, what's it called? The Gourmand being slippery and kinda hard to control. But honestly I'd rather have something that's hard to control rather than just something that doesn't. Um so, yeah, uh, I'm gonna see you guys next stream. Have, have a good one.